With his trademark spiky hair, Gary Rhodes was one of the frontrunners in a new generation of celebrity chefs. Now, look at that. We've formed a wonderful shape to the actual bird. The culinary world and the world of entertainment came together as Rhodes and those who followed him became household names. Go on. I enjoy them, Michael. It's good sauce. Yes. Good pom puree. Yes. Nice That's chicken. Fine. All lovely. Gordon Ramsay was a fellow member of that celebrity club, one of those today shocked and saddened at the early death of his friend. He tweeted, We lost a fantastic chef today in Gary Rhodes. He was a chef who put British cuisine on the map. Prue Leith, in a tribute, said Gary was the first rock star of cooking, making it cool for boys to cook. Spiky haircut, tight trousers, full of energy. Jamie Oliver said Gary was a fantastic chef and incredible ambassador for British cooking. He was a massive inspiration to me. All day, his peers have been lining up to acknowledge his contribution. Good strength, good strength and flavour there. He made kids, young kids, who are out there, looked at him with this spiky hair and everything, thinking, I can do that. I want to become a chef. If I was to sum up Gary in a sentence, it would be a fun man with a heart of gold, but a determination of steel. The boy who left school at 16 to go to catering college had mixed with royalty. His skills acknowledged by those who recognise young emerging talent. In 2006, he was awarded the OBE, something he said even had an edge over his Michelin stars. Hi, my name's Gary Rhodes and here I am at the Rhodes W1 Kitchen. In recent years, he ran two restaurants in Dubai, where this was one of his last television appearances. I want this to be a melting sensation that is just full of flavour. It was in Dubai he died after being taken ill while filming. His family saying in a statement, the Rhodes family are deeply saddened to announce the passing of beloved husband, father and brother Gary Rhodes, OBE. Gary passed away last evening with his beloved wife Jenny by his side. He was just 59 years old.